Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we take a look at a brand new teaser image for Poppy Playtime Chapter 2, with a full analysis and some theory talk to boot. So sit back, relax, and let's break down the latest for Poppy Playtime Chapter 2. The teaser poster displays an area of the Playtime Co. toy factory, and released in four pieces. The first on April 25th, the second on April 26th, the third on April 27th, and the fourth on April 28th. If we use our cropping skills and fit these torn poster pieces together, we see they reveal the train station area previously teased in screenshots and the gameplay trailer for Poppy Playtime Chapter 2. By studying this map-like overview, we come to some exciting conclusions as to what this new chapter may hold in store. The room is bright and colourful and, as we have previously theorised, confirms that Chapter 2 will take place in a playground setting, an area of a factory which was open to the public and likely part of the paid tour experience mentioned in the advert that plays at the top of Chapter 1. It seems parents visiting the factory with their children could bring them to this elaborate play area and would arrive and depart on the train pictured bottom left. We know this train was used to get in and out of the factory, as this detail is confirmed when reading Chapter 2's synopsis on the Steam Store page. It reads as follows. The Train Station. Explore one of Playtime Co.'s most popular locations, the Game Station. The Train Station is more than just a pit stop. There's games, a playground, and much, much more. Even better, the train provides a straight shot right out of a factory. So this area is called the Game Station, and as we have seen from the Chapter 2 trailer, will contain a selection of play areas and mini-games to partake in. All at the behest of the new antagonist, Mommy Longlegs, who seems desperate for a new playmate. A new playmate? It's been so long. By studying the image, we can see that one of these play areas is called Musical Memory. This seems to be a zone we travel into to play the music minigame that briefly featured in the gameplay trailer. Across from Musical Memory, we see another set of stairs, again leading down into a minigame area. Beside these steps, Mommy Longlegs seems to be greeting the children as they journey down. It appears she was allowed to roam around and interact with visitors. She does, after all, love playing with others. She loves watching you play. When you're having fun, she's having fun. And so, as we analyse this poster, the design of Chapter 2 begins to make sense. We will enter the game station through this door at the far side of the room. The train is powered down and is our way to escape the factory. But in order to power it up, we're going to have to play along with Mommy Longlegs, visiting each of the game zones and successfully winning against her in a series of challenges. Each one bringing us closer to restoring power to the train and escaping the factory. Though, it's doubtful things will go that smoothly. While exploring this area, we will have new power-ups and encounter new killer toys. The Poppy Playtime Chapter 2 Steam page elaborates on this and says the following. Three times the size of Chapter 1, you must descend deeper into the toy factory. Mind-numbing puzzles and horrific toys await. Grapple and swing your way to safety. Try to escape and don't let mommy find you. New Toys. The factory is filled with remnants of a crooked past. All you need to do is go deeper. Let's ask Bunzo Bunny, or perhaps PJ Pugapillar has some ideas. Or maybe Mommy knows. The Green Hand has been introduced to the Grab Pack family. You can now carry power with you remotely. And that's not all, you can grapple now too. Innovation has done it again. Transfer powers without the confines of wire. Grab onto pipes and swing across missing flooring. Fly, kind of. You can grapple straight up more accurately. It seems we will face at least three enemy toys in Chapter 2. We have glimpsed both Mommy and PJ Pugapillar before, but for now, Bunzo Bunny remains a mystery. It is also interesting to note this picture of Bron the Brontosaurus appears on the Steam page too. Could this mean there are even more toys on the loose? 
It seems like chapter 2 is shaping up to be full of surprises and much more ambitious than chapter 1 in every way possible. We've spoken on how this poster teases the gameplay of Poppy Playtime Chapter 2, but what does it tell us in regard to the game's overarching story? Well, not too much, but there are a few details worth pointing out nonetheless. Firstly, let's check out the two signatures on the bottom left and top right of the poster. The first on the right seems to read as Madeline Shade presumably the artist who drew the image and possibly a character we'll hear from in Chapter 2. The second signature is legible, at least to my eye, though at a distance it takes on a new form, the date of May 10th. Now this could simply be a coincidence or, with a release date nearing, might be an intentional tease. We'll have to wait and see on that one. The second point of interest comes when we observe the walkway overhead. While families have fun in the play area down below, ominous scientists look down on them, seemingly studying and observing things at a safe distance. In fact, some of these scientists even watch from the safety of a sealed room. Things get even creepier when we notice that not a single scientist is on the ground floor at all. As Mommy Longlegs is roaming around, was this the reason these scientists watch from such a distance? Believing their living toy creation may be dangerous, the scientists used visiting families as human guinea pigs, knowingly putting them in harm's way as they interacted with the living toy creations. Until one day, these toys went rogue. This event then heard in the tape we play at the end of Chapter 1. Final log in relation. Experiment 1006. The prototype. Coordination and cooperation is evidently within his skill set, as well as the skill set of all other experiments of his type. Though still missing, today's events are no doubt in relation to him. His absence was a flaw in the scientific process, which should have under no circumstances been left unaccounted for. That's why I'm making this log, so that the same mistake won't be made twice. Any future experiments will need to be contained and disposed of in a secure location. I'm not worried about myself. One breakthrough and I'll be back. We must forge onwards in the name of science. Whether those who are beneath us understand it or not, end of- So, was Mommy Longlegs Experiment 1006, the prototype first allowed to mingle with the public, but after going on a rampage, led to the closure of the factory and a cover-up story on the part of Playtime Co? This seems unlikely, as the experiment is referred to as he. However, Mommy might have originated from a male prototype, which seems to have been teased in this image here. The plot thickens when we note how this claw appears on screen while the recording of Experiment 1006 plays. There's undoubtedly some kind of connection here, with Mommy Longlegs potentially being an evolved version of the prototype experiment which would go on to wreak havoc throughout the factory. So as you can see, when we start connecting all these dots, this teaser gives us plenty to theorise over for sure. With that said, we've come to the end of this video and a quick analysis and breakdown of the latest teaser for Poppy Playtime. If you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, comment down below and of course subscribe for more horror related content. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video.